Hi, welcome to the Arley uh, Wine Channel. Today I will taste a wine from Bordeaux, a red wine from the Graves region. It's uh, called Chateau Maillard and I will try a 2011 vintage. Right now you can probably find a 2016 or 2017 vintage in retail and it's about $25. The Grave region is uh, southwest of the city of Bordeaux. It's also below the best region for Bordeaux wine, which is Medoc. But there is some famous uh, chateau there and, and really, really good wine. The typical uh, Medoc and Grave wines are Cabernet forward. A typical blend is usually 70% Cabernet. 15% Merlot, 10% Cap Franc, and the last 5% uh, smaller proportion of different grapes, such as Petit Verdot. From a tasting standpoint and aroma standpoint, uh, Bordeaux, some years, especially uh, before global warming, but still often the case, uh, the Cabernet Sauvignon grape doesn't fully ripen or doesn't fully mature and it gives the Cabernet Sauvignon wine some herbaceous and herbal notes of uh, green bell pepper or grass. That's very typical of Bordeaux whereas in the new world like California it's all really red fruit and black fruit forwards. Of course uh, in Bordeaux wine in addition to these herbaceous and sometimes peppery notes uh, you also have the classical red fruit and black fruit flavors, such as strawberries or raspberries, red plum, and black fruits like black currant or um, blackberries. Uh, Cabernet Sauvignon uh, is a grape which is fairly tannic, and so to soften the tannins, you need to mature the wine for uh, some period of time usually in French oak, and the French oak are imparting some notes of tobacco, leather, cedars, chocolate, or pepper. From a food pairing standpoint, Bordeaux wines typically pairs well with steaks and fries. It's great with any red meat. They also pair well with cheese, especially hard cheeses, such as sheep cheese, like Petit Basque, or Italian cheese like Pecorino or Parmesan. Let's uh, now recap and move on to the actual tasting. So let's try this uh, Chateau Maillard. So uh, that's the, the bottle. Uh, if you're interested uh, in how to read a bottle, uh, I have some material um, as well about how to read a bottle on my Facebook page, Oddly Wind. So, as uh, mentioned, is the uh, 2011. So the tannins uh, should have softened because it's nine years old. And the wine should also be lighter because the older a red wine is, the lighter the color. And so it usually goes from uh, ruby to more garnet wine. And garnet is when you have some uh, orange color at the edges of the wine in the glass. So from a color standpoint, it's uh, definitely uh, lighter and, and, and garnet. I can see the, the kind of uh, orange edges when I looked um, on a, on a white uh, paper. From an intensity standpoint, it's uh, definitely uh, not, not very uh, deep intensity of the color. On the nose, uh, it's very fruity. I, I don't get any herbaceous notes. I get mostly uh, red fruits, black fruits. So like, yeah, red plum, black 
currant, blackberry, more blackberry, and some peppery notes. There are a uh, very also characteristic of Cabernet, and that's why it pairs so well with steaks like a pepper, peppery steaks or steaks with a pepper sauce. And yeah, I don't smell a lot of uh, oak or, or or any green bell pepper. It's probably because uh, it's uh, an older an older wine. It's a pretty typical uh, Bordeaux blend or Cab blend. Uh, you have high acidity, which is a uh, typicity of Cabernet, and usually that's why you also blend Cabernet Sauvignon with some uh, more medium grapes like Merlot, who will bring more uh, red fruit instead of black fruits and will lower the, the acidity of, of the wine. And so definitely you can say that, yeah, it's, it's definitely left bang because of these high acidity. You definitely have the, the, the tannins. Alcohol is, is not very strong, so I don't know yeah, if 2011 uh, was not that uh, hot of a year. For sure, it's not one of the best uh, vintage. It's a good vintage, but for instance, 2015 uh, was a really good vintage, and 2016 was an exceptional vintage. And usually, uh, they're sell right now in the stores because they need to, to age and mature, so it's three, four years later, they're, they're, they hit the stores. And because it was exceptional, yeah, the prices right now for 2016 Bordeaux are, are pretty high. So, as I mentioned, so dry wine, uh, high acidity, medium, or, or, or on the lower side on, on the alcohol. So overall, it's, uh, it's, not, heavy, it's not a heavy wine, so the, 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 it's not a heavy wine. You have some intensity of, of the flavor, and you have a typical Merlot, uh, Merlot Cab uh, Bordeaux red wine flavor. So it's uh, a lot of red fruits, uh, surprisingly. You have like, yeah, some strawberry, plum, blackberry. Uh, you still taste the, the peppery finish. You, you still get some, some of the tannin, so it's not heavily tannic. But you definitely get some some of the tannins, and but they're mostly now uh, imparted with flavors of oak. So it's very leathery, uh, cedary. You get some chocolate notes uh, on the finish, and the finish itself, uh, it, it's it, the wine is still changing, but the finish itself is is pretty long. So pretty good wine. And so yeah, if we if we recap, so it's uh, it's really balanced. Uh, it's well balanced. And the the finish is uh, is is decent. It is, uh, is is yeah, it's pretty good. The the characteristic of the wine are, are what you would expect. So you have these uh, oakiness and and these uh, red fruit black fruits. Uh, pretty identifiable. So it's not a, a blurry wine. Uh, it has some complexity, so overall, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a pretty good wine. So I think that's uh, that's it for our testing today. Uh, so testing from uh, of a gra grave uh, wine from Chateau Maillard. I hope you enjoyed it, and if so, don't hesitate to leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and you can also leave me a comment and let me know what you would like me to text taste uh, next. Take care, cheers. Mm -hmm.